Hi, welcome. My name is Lily, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own rose infused oil with a blend of almond oil, grapeseed oil, and hemp seed oil, along with vitamin E and peppermint essential oil. This is super easy and affordable to make, so please stay tuned. This is the quick way to make this rose infused oil. Now, if you choose to go the long way, the process consists of letting the oil infuse for up to two months inside your home in a dark, cool place. But, in my opinion, both ways are super effective, so why not go the easy, quicker way, right? In this video, I'm going to be over the exact measurements that I'm using of each ingredient as far as my oils go, also my vitamin E and essential oils so you guys can be aware of the exact measurements. And I'm also going to go over where I found, um, where I bought each ingredient. Now, rose oil has been used to reduce stress and symptoms of depression and anxiety. And this oil is very good at treating acne due to its antiseptic, antigens, and anti-inflammatory properties. Now, the reason why rose infused oil is amazing for your skin, especially for your face, is because it is going to diminish scars as far as hyperpigmentation or acne scars. And it also combats dry and aging skin. You can even use this particular oil on your nails, your eyebrows, or your hair to promote growth. Apply it directly to your skin or any kind of moisturizers, creams, or lotions. Okay, so now that we know a little bit more about this particular rose infused oil, let me go over the ingredients and the measurement of the ingredients that I'm using. So for starters, I have here my grapeseed oil and the measurement for grapeseed oil is going to be one cup, okay? And this here is our almond oil. The measurement for this is going to be one half cup. This particular oil is hemp seed oil and the measurement for this is going to be one fourth cup. Now, a little fact about hemp seed oil, you see it has a dark green, beautiful color. It's manufactured from varieties of cannabis, sativa, okay? But they do not contain significant amounts of THC. Don't be alarmed. Manufacturers actually, they clean the, the seed uh, up to 99.99% .99 before pressing the oil so this will not have any kind of psychoactive effect. Hemp seed oil is a very moisturizing oil for your skin. Okay, it is rich in omega-3 fatty acids, antioxidants. It is going to help reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles on your face. And here we have our mason jar filled with our dried rose petals. So yes, yeah, so for this particular recipe, I'm using dried rose petals as opposed to fresh. So these are dried Egyptian rose petals and I have them in a glass mason jar. We have here our vitamin E. This is tocopherol acetate, okay? This is pure vitamin E. Here I have my one ounce glass dropper bottles. So now that we have clarified the measurements, volumes, whatnot, let's go over the source of each ingredient so you can be aware of that as well. As far as my grapeseed oil and my almond oil, I was able to find this online and I bought them from this company called Now Foods, N-O-W Foods, okay? And my hemp seed oil actually comes from a different company from Sky Organics. They are amazing. I highly suggest that you check them out for your pure natural oils and any other ingredient that you need. And this is my peppermint oil. I was able to get this at Walmart, okay? And this was actually just $4.50. This is peppermint oil from Guru Nanda. My vitamin E, I was able to get this from makingcosmetics.com. Now, to the dried rose petals, I was able to purchase this online, amazon.com, and just search dried rose petals. And these are Egyptian dried rose petals. And also guys, I'm not sure if you're aware, I do have my own blog. It's bevelili.com. I'm going to leave the link down below where you can check out different recipes, different instructions on how to make your own product. And not only so, I also sell my very own natural products. So please check that out. So now, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started on how to make this.
All right guys, so that's it. You have your rose infused oil ready. Now please be aware that this is going to last you anywhere between 12 months or one year and a half because we used dried rose petals. So there is no water content in this particular product. So the good news is that it is going to last you for a while. And honestly, I am so happy with how it came out. And the peppermint oil just adds that extra touch to the scent. It smells like roses and peppermint and it's overall amazing. So if you guys enjoyed this video, please make sure to give me a thumbs up, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Again, check out my website, it's bevelily.com. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.